As I was riding home yesterday after Thanksgiving travel, we had just some time to reflect on a lot of things. And even though there have been some lows, there have been so many highs that have happened this year, and that's what I want to focus on. Hey, Rue! It's so good to have puppies in the house again. These mini doodles are just so cute. Just to think, it has been one year since I have come home, and it is just, it's blown my mind that I have been able to have this opportunity to just do what I love to do. It's okay. This is our little, this is our smallest little guy. But he is gaining weight and doing really good. Rue's thinking, what are you doing? But this ENS, I know it challenges them, but it is definitely helpful for future for them to overcome their stress. And they will get used to it in a couple of days. To be able to do this, to be able to be home for a full year and have this opportunity to get to know every single one of these puppies just even more. Rue, where are you going? Come here, lie down. Good girl. Has just been such a joy. And then the other amazing part of it is just getting to know all of the families. About a year ago is when we started doing puppy culture and there's no way that we would have had time to do that if we were both working our full-time jobs still. So our puppies definitely had socialization, but we think that, I mean, it's just, we've taken it to the next level by doing this program. And it has just made me so much happier that I get to know everybody even more detailed. Because before it was, we went to work full time, we had a full time nanny that would take care of the puppies. But then we were waking up super early in the morning and then staying up really late at night. So this one's our little girl. Well, she's not very little, she's kind of chunky actually. Yeah, good job. You did really good. When we started our YouTube channel, it was really just so we could introduce people into our homes and so we could show everybody how we were raising our puppies, um, the types of activities that we did with each puppy. Look at that little white patch, not cute? But little did we know that we would talk to other breeders and talk to so many other families that have doodles already. I mean, there has been so much um, communication with people and that has just really made me so happy. I love talking to other people. There you go. Okay, back with mom. There you go. The reach that we have had um, with our YouTube channel and meeting families has been so amazing too. Like one of the families is coming all the way from California to get one of Rue's puppies. And they are coming just like the whole family's coming, parents, kids, Everybody's just gonna come out here for a couple of days and we get to be a part of that. We get to be a part of their family vacation because they chose to get a dog from us. And that, that's amazing. Just to have that kind of opportunity, just to meet people and be a part of their lives, I think is great. You might hear some crunching sounds. Miss Rue's got a, we gave her a yak cheese. And Blue is doing awesome today on his ENS. Super relaxed. You're such a good boy. All right, last little girl. We had three girls and two boys in this litter. And they are all that dark red color, which is so cute. I kind of hope that's what Nipsey does all the time. So this is his first litter. But, oh, that's a cute yawn too. Ha! Getting a lot of cute moments this morning. I'm, I still just can't get over how thankful I am of from this community specifically, like being able to talk to people and just have relationships with people. That is what I'm most thankful for, um, just doing YouTube. In the beginning, JP kind of had this crazy goal of doing or having 20,000 subscribers. He thought that, that would be really cool by the end of the year. I honestly didn't think that it was going to happen. Hey, Ru, lie down. I kind of just laughed it off and thought there is no way of being able to do that. Um, but then we hit a hundred subscribers and I didn't think that that was really possible either because <laughs> I didn't think that anybody would want to like see what we were doing or it would just be something that the families went to one time to kind of prove that we were a good breeder. But it has gotten, it's just changed so much. And we just, I think I just looked this morning and we were at like 18,000 and something. And that is just, 
I mean, that just blows my mind. So I just want to say thank you to everybody. Keep communicating with me. I love it. And I just, I look forward to being able to share more. But now we get, we do have more to share. We have to go do Maya's puppies next. So we're going to let Ruse relax and head on over to Maya's. Bye, Ru. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Hey, Maya. How are the babies? I know that everybody loves those dark red mini doodles, but I love this uh, litter too, these mediums, because they have such a variety of color, just a huge spectrum um, of the browns and tans. I think that's beautiful. And I know that we were just talking about how grateful we were for YouTube. And I am, I am really grateful for it, but it has been probably the most challenging thing that JP and I have done um, since we were married. I really think it is. Like, there are a lot of fights that happen just from trying to shoot YouTube. In fact, we tried to do this video yesterday and got really frustrated, lost our light, and had to give up. That was really hard. And it hasn't been the first time, but we're doing it again today and we learned to persevere and we're just trying to learn what works for each of us. Showing authenticity is what we want. We want to show everybody the true like nature of our home. We don't want it to be staged. And so having to show that authenticity, it gets challenging because there could be times where I say the perfect thing and JP has the camera angle wrong, or I don't say the perfect thing and then we both get frustrated. Um, and then there could be times where I have to repeat myself and then it just feels staged and I'm just done. I'm done for the day. I wanna scrap it and move on. Oh, that was cute. I got a lot of yawns today. I'm enjoying that. But we know that doing these videos is the right thing to do. So we wanna make sure that we're just trying our best to do good communication, to talk kindly to one another. Um, I mean, we've been married 16 years in December, December 9th, and we have gone through many challenges and this is just one of them. We're gonna get better and better at, communi at communicating with each other and it's only gonna get easier and easier. These guys are one week and one day old. This is our big chunky one. <laughs> Isn't he cute? So he's got a little wavy coat. And this is Maya's first time being a mom and she is just doing so good. Super attentive, but really flexible. Just like super lovable right off the bat for us to come in here and to do the care for the puppies. She just has been right there beside us and just just what she's just been such a great mom and i just i think i mentioned earlier that i love the colors of this litter and there's two creams we rarely get cream puppies but we got some this time and i think that comes from mr mosley as the stud for the litter but they i mean i just have really loved seeing how big these guys have gotten already he's pretty stout <laughs> so some really exciting things is that this coming up week, we will see their eyes open because they usually open around the two week mark. And then just Maya's birth went so smooth. I was very impressed with how easily she gave birth to these guys. So <laughs> there's a huge difference in us not having puppies over the last three weeks and then what's coming right around the corner. So we will have Frankie come today for puppy watch. We are gonna have, we have other moms here for breedings. We're also gonna have other moms confirm. So we're gonna have Nala and Zelly confirming. Raleigh's confirming that they're pregnant. So we have so many things to look forward to. And then we have our potty trays. They're gonna be shipping out December or January. And we wanna write handwritten notes to go and ship those ourselves. So we know that this upcoming season is going to be very busy. We have Christmas parties. We have kids parties at school. We have so many different things to do, but we have just this attitude of thankfulness that we're gonna be able to keep going with. I really enjoyed that time of reflection 
driving back home um, from Thanksgiving. I usually don't take the time to sit and think a lot. I'm usually a mover and a doer. Um, but when it comes to this Christmas season, I don't wanna forget how cute this is. <laughs> I don't wanna forget all of these special moments and all of the thankfulness that I have for getting to do this on a daily basis, for getting to be with my family, for getting to do what I love, and just for getting to work with my partner, my buddy, uh, my husband, JP, who is on the other end of the camera, so that's kind of fun. Um, but just taking the time to really just love doing this business together. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful holiday and Christmas season too, and just get to have that sense of thankfulness and gratitude just like we do.